welcome to my youtube channel in last two videos we have discussed uh, confirmations of ethane and confirmations of butane in this video we will discuss stereochemistry of cyclohexane we will see uh, two confirmations chair and boat confirmations with the help of ball and stick model cyclohexane C6H12 is a molecule uh, in which uh, six carbons uh, have formed a ring. All carbons are sp3 hybridized and each carbon is attached to two hydrogens and two adjacent carbon. If we consider planar structure of cyclohexane, the carbon-carbon uh, bond angle uh, should be 120 degree. The normal sp3 bond angle is 109, so there is deviation from normal bond angle and this will introduce angle strain in a uh, planar structure of cyclohexane molecule. Also, since all CH bonds are eclipsed, means they are facing each other, there will be a torsional strain in a uh, molecule. Uh, thus, uh, this uh, planar structure of cyclohexane uh, should be unstable. But in practice, cyclohexane is a stable uh, molecule. So to avoid strain, what it does is it attains uh, various non-planar structures. In fact, cyclohexane molecule exists in four non-planar conformations to avoid strain. Uh, out of these four conformations, in this video, we will discuss chair and boat conformation in detail. So this is a ball and stick model of cyclohexane. Uh, as you can see, uh, carbons which are shown by black balls are not in one plane. You can clearly see that if we consider this as carbon number 1, then carbon number 1, then 3 and 5 are in one uh, plane, whereas carbon number 2, 4 and 6 are in another plane. Plane. So basically we can consider two horizontal planes in which these uh, carbons lie. Now look at hydrogens attached to each carbon. So if we consider carbon number one, two hydrogens are attached out of which this hydrogen is perpendicular to the horizontal plane of carbon. So this hydrogen is called as axial hydrogen whereas the one show. Uh, which is parallel to the plane is called as equatorial hydrogen. Now uh, look at structure closely. Uh, three axial hydrogens are above which are attached to carbon number 1, 3 and 5. And three axial hydrogens are below which are attached to carbon number 2, 4 and 6. So these bonds are not facing each other. Also look at equatorial uh, hydrogens, again they are not in same plane, they are not directly facing each other. Now we will uh, discuss uh, strains involved in this confirmation, chair confirmation. So in this confirmation, uh, the carbon-carbon uh, bond angle is nearly equal to 109. So there is no angle strain uh, involved. Uh, if we look at uh, hydrogens, uh, say uh, adjacent to axial hydrogens, they are staggered. Similarly, two equatorial hydrogens are staggered. So we can say that all uh, CH bonds are staggered, means they are not facing each other. So there is no torsional strain or strenic, uh, steric strain involved in this conformation. Also, there is no any transannular strain and therefore chair conformation is the most stable conformation of cyclohexane. Uh, let us check a boat conformation of cyclohexane. So as you can see, all carbons are not in one plane. Uh, suppose this is carbon number one, uh, then this is carbon number four. So 1 and 4 are in one plane and the remaining carbons are in one plane. Uh, 
so a boat like shape is formed to each carbon two hydrogens are attached uh, we will uh, see uh, how we name this uh, hydrogens uh, these two hydrogens which are attached to carbon number 1 and 4 are called as flat pole hydrogens and uh, these two hydrogens are called as bosphorite uh, similarly Uh, the hydrogens attached to uh, four carbons uh, two three and five six uh, which are perpendicular to the horizontal plane are called as boat axial whereas uh, these uh, hydrogens which are parallel to the uh, horizontal plane are called as boat equatorial now we will consider various strains present in boat conformation uh, in boat conformation carbon carbon bond angle is nearly equal to 109 so uh, no angle strain is observed however uh, the two uh, axial hydrogens and two equatorial hydrogens uh, present on adjacent carbon are eclipsed uh, means they are facing each other so there will be a little torsional strain and steric strain same is the case for back to axial hydrogens and back to equatorial hydrogens uh, but the major strain that is observed in uh, boat conformation is trans annular strain look at these two flag pole hydrogens one is present on carbon number 1 other is present on carbon number 4 so uh, they sh they should be far apart from each other but due to shape of this uh, conformation these two flag pole hydrogens come very close and there will be repulsion uh, between these two flag pole hydrogens and this uh, due to this repulsion there will be a strain which is called as trans annular strain and due to this strain Uh, this conformation is less stable than chair conformation